right, so I'm going to try out this. Um, this is a Winsor & Newton Cotman. Um, I guess this is the pocket set. And there's 12 different colors. Let's see, we got lemon yellow, cadmium yellow, cadmium red, alizarin crimson, ultramarine blue, phthalo blue, viridian green, sap green, yellow ochre, burnt umber, burnt sienna, and then this is Chinese white. So I'm going to do just a little swatch of each of them using my, let's see, this is a Cotman round size six brush, also from Winsor & Newton. And I typically use the Professional Series paint tubes. Um, I don't have any next to me, but I can show you that I have them here on my palette that I use for every day. These are all squeezed from paint tubes that are the Professional Series paints. So they're just a little bit of a higher quality, um, more concentrated. And these ones are a little bit less concentrated, but I think that they're actually still really amazing. Especially if you're just getting started, you don't want to spend too much. This is an awesome budget option. So that's the lemon yellow, kind of a nice cool yellow option. This here is the cadmium yellow. This is a bit of a warmer yellow. To me, this looks like a color I use pretty frequently on my bigger palette called Indian yellow. Nice, warm, sunny yellow. I always like to have a couple of options of each shade. I feel like having two yellows, two reds, two blues, two greens, you can get so many colors if you just kind of have two of each of the primaries plus green. <laughs> I use so much green. It might as well be a primary color to me. <laughs> so this one here is cadmium yellow, or sorry, cadmium red hue. And I like that one. It's very, very orange toned. I use cadmium red quite a bit. And I also use this one quite a bit. This is alizarin crimson. This is what I use mostly for my pink flowers that I paint or anything pink I paint. This is generally the color I'll reach for first. Drop a little bit more color in there. Okay, so next is the ultramarine blue. And this one is, my goodness, this one's so pretty. What a color. I actually don't use this color very often and I absolutely should because, I don't know, it has such a nice jewel tone to it. It's like a beautiful ocean blue color. And now this is phthalo blue. A bit more of a, I would say it's almost like a night sky blue. Beautiful color too. They're similar. This one has maybe more of a purple feel to me. And this one is a, a warmer. They're both great. All right, so here is the Viridian green color. This one I don't use as often, but, and it's mostly because I like my paintings to be a bit more um, on the warmer side of green. If I am using green, I, I typically like it to be warm, but I could also mix this with a yellow and I would get a really nice, a really nice tone. So here is sap green, which I use every time I paint. And I sometimes will use it in its pure form, but I also really like to mix it with other colors. Just a nice classic green. <laughs> Kermit the Frog green. Um, okay, so this one here is yellow ochre, which I actually don't use as often anymore, but I should because when I first started painting, I remember the yellow ochre, this little um, well, I would rip through it so fast because I just really like to mix all my colors with it. So I should definitely bring this back into my rotation. This one here, Burnt Umber, a nice classic brown color. Definitely a nice warm tone. Looks like a uh, an acorn chestnut brown. I love brown too. Brown is a great color. I don't use browns as often. I typically will mix opposite colors on the color wheel to get a brown, but you know what? Why not just use brown if it's given to you, huh? We make everything so complicated. 
Okay, I love this color here. This is maybe my favorite color in this mix. And this one, I was using this palette yesterday and I immediately just went online and bought a tube of Burnt Sienna because I do want to have the Professional Series tube of this color. I love it. It's so pretty. It's such a beautiful, like, pumpkin spice latte color. I'm just kidding. Well, I guess it is, but <laughs> it's a nice fall tone. And last but not least is this Chinese white color. And you might think that it won't show up and you might be right. <laughs> I don't know, let's see. I don't use white very often. I will sometimes mix it with colors if I want a more opaque look, like a less transparent look, but I don't use white paint super often. The paper's already white, so you know, with watercolor painting, you typically just want to preserve the white that you already see if you need white in your painting. But I can see that this is actually, it's definitely like a creamy gray tone. So this actually could be a great option um, if you do need to paint something white. I'm sure it's going to dry even lighter. I wonder if you can even see that. Can you see it? Yeah. So, and there you go. Those are pretty bold colors. I, let me show you something real quick. So this is what I did yesterday. Created this right here, which is just, this was me just experimenting with all these different colors. Um, and I, maybe you can see, let me zoom in a bit. You can see that I have some notes here of like, um, phthalo blue, yellow ochre. I mixed those two colors to get this green, this color plus yellow ochre. And this is yellow ochre plus phthalo blue. So these two colors makes this really nice, kind of muted, warm green tone, which I love that color. That is just so beautiful to me. This would have been here, let's see, I did cadmium yellow, like an underwash of this color. And then over it, I did cadmium red. So it's these two colors. And I'm assuming this one would have been the cadmium red with no yellow underneath it. So you can see that this one turns out quite a bit warmer when you do the underwash of yellow. So I wanted to experiment with mixing a couple of colors. Kind of what I showed you over here on that test paper. So I'm going to do this Viridian green color. Make sure you can see it. So Viridian with let's try this yellow ochre that i love <laughs> so we'll mix those two and see what kind of green we get i tend to always like i kind of said but I, I tend to push colors towards being a bit warmer and let's just do a couple of simple little leaves not my favorite color of green but that's okay let's try um, I'll do this ultramarine blue and let's do cadmium yellow. So that's a slightly warmer green than this one here. And let me go ahead and just do, just so we can, just so we can see it, let's do just some leaves with just this color, which is sap green. So, quite a different shade there, huh? Let's try this um, burnt sienna. We'll do burnt sienna with, I'll try burnt sienna with, sap green. So this color plus this color. I don't know what those leaves are, but <laughs> you understand just looking at the color what we're kind of working with there. It kind of creates a little more of that fall tone, like I had said that I like about that um, burnt sienna color. 
Let's try phthalo blue. Can you see? Okay, phthalo blue and yellow ochre. So these two colors. Oh, I, I meant yellow ochre and I did cadmium yellow. <laughs> Gonna mix them all together then. Okay, so yellow ochre plus phthalo blue plus cadmium yellow. I like it already. All right, so I'll do just kind of like this. We'll do a couple of long leaves, maybe eucalyptus leaves. Do some little seeds. Yep, that's that's probably my favorite green so far. I'm gonna add a bit um, a bit more of the yellow ochre to it and see how that looks. Yep, you can see the difference. It gets even more of a warm brownish tone to it. And if you want to get really crazy. Some people would never do this because it gets it all muddy, but I like to make things muddy. <laughs> it's fun. Okay, so that's like four colors. <laughs> that is phthalo blue, cadmium yellow, yellow ochre, and burnt sienna. Let's see what it looks like. Definitely doesn't look like anything up there, does it? It's its own thing. so much fun. I mean, I could, I could do this all day <laughs> just using these colors and then I could make a bunch of different pinks, a bunch of different kinds of blues, different kinds of reds, oranges, all kinds of varieties. So I love this. This is a nice little mix of colors to use and just to practice and experiment and see what other colors you can get. Quite a few, huh? So, all right. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you next time.